dead wolf for a week. He disappeared the morning he'd gone hunting along the new road through the forest. Son, this road is just what we need. People always have plenty of food, and now we'll be bringing it right to the forest. Why, tricking them out of food is easier than catching a three-legged rabbit. I'll be back tonight with enough food to last us a week. But he hasn't came back. Mother Wolf has been against the plan from the start. She has many relatives who have lost their lives dealing with people. Now with winter approaching, she and Little Bad Wolf are alone and they are hungry.
some way to lighten the basket. Aha! After eating, LB grabs the basket and heads towards Grant's. When he is near, he puts a cloak and continues towards the house. Though Bad Wolf wasn't used to being around so many people, and he was sure that this that his disguise wouldn't stand on a close inspection. But no one seemed the least bit interested in him. People scurried this way and that, barely looking at each other. At last he saw Granny's house. He walked up the driveway, driveway and knocked idly on the door. Is that you, Red Riding Hood? Yes, Grandmother. Come back to my room, dear, and I'll bring the basket. I'm too sick to get up. Even though the day was sunny, Granny's bedroom was quite dark. Just leave the basket by the bed, dear, then feel free to run along. I don't want you wasting your whole day on an old lady like me. But how are you feeling, Granny? About the same, dear. I hope you're not catching something yourself. Your voice sounds different today. Just a little cold, Granny. Nothing to worry about. Let me feel your nose to see the strap. That's how you tell if an animal's sick. People are sick when you feel their foreheads are hot. Oh yeah, that's what I meant. Anyway, let me feel. No, no, dear. I took my temperature just before you arrived, and it was perfectly normal. I've forgotten, Granny. What is normal? Oh, you know, not too hot, not too cold. Let me look in your eyes and to see if they're clear. I'm fine, Red, really. Now just take my list from the table by the door, and I'll see you tomorrow. to waste and the 
old couple next door goes hungry unless my mother spends the whole winter cooking and I spend it dragging baskets through the wood. I've got a better idea. The law is the law. I can't. I caught them red paw. They're going to jail. Red Hope, the second officer, might listen to reason. What if they admit they're guilty? Could they get off of community service? No way! I caught oh. No way, I caught them red paw. They're going to jail. What's your idea, Red? Why can't they pay their debts to society, society by distributing all this food to people? These two can make sure no one in the neighborhood goes hungry. Oh, great. We'll do the air boy. For both he and LB knew this would be better than going to jail. It's your choice, lady, but these two miss one delivery. They're mine. Don't worry, officer. Give the neighbors my phone number. One complaint, and you can have these crooks. Then we'll also have them on a 325. Failure to satisfy a verbal agreement. I like it. At last, Big Wolf and Elf, Little Bad Wolf were allowed to go back to the woods, their tails between their legs. They weren't looking forward to explaining their new obligation to Mother Wolf. Red, you need a ride home. Thanks, officer, but I'm in no hurry. My mother is going to find you guilty of a one, two thousand. Gee, even I don't know that one. She told me once, she told me twice, and she told me a thousand times not to talk to strangers. And